Actions. That's how Automation Stitches looks like at 6.4. And this is the new interface, the new workflow in 7.0. 7.0 also brought some new features, so let's take a look at them. Stitches are now arranged in tabs, so you can look at the stitch itself once you finish to configure it. You can look at the different triggers that can be used on the stitch itself, and you can use different actions. So let's create a new stitch. So let's move to our stitch page. Let's name our stitch Reboot. And as you can see, it shows up as a diagram. That is the trigger and the action. So let's add up the uh, trigger. Now the trigger is Reboot. If you do not find your trigger on the different entries, you can create one using the plus sign and you can use uh, different triggers. One of them is the 40 OS event logs, which has hundreds of event logs that can uh, trigger an alert. All right, now we will use Reboot. Our uh, trigger will be quite basic. Reboot machine. And let's just um, give our machine a number so we can actually uh, know which machine has uh, rebooted. All right, so let's apply that trigger. Just a second. And let's add up the action. Again, you have different entries here. You can create new one. You can create CLI script. We have seen that before. You can also, and this is a new feature, send uh, a notification to one of your Microsoft Teams notification. There's a full documentation on how to do it, how to create the specific webhook to your Microsoft team channel. You also have a Slack notification, which I believe was also in 6.4. And you can, of course, uh, send that notification to your email. Now, the new thing about email is that now you can actually use replacement messages. You can use formatted email messages uh, straight to your email inbox. All right, so let's just use that and let's use an email address. And let's uh, name our subject or email subject. Okay. Now let's add up another action. Let's use a CLI script. Let's name our script get system. And let's use the uh, professional admin profile and get system settings. All right. Now, um, once you do so, you will be able to play around. Let's just apply that. Now, once you do so, you will be able to play around with the different action and reorder them according to your needs.